welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. If you have watched all three videos, including this one so far, give yourself a pat on the back. Uh, thank you very much for watching these videos. I appreciate it. So the last video I put out was how to be a happier person in three steps. In that video, I talked about how I would give tips and we'd also make a beat. And so in that vlog, you kind of see me making a beat a little bit, but I never finished it, never really did anything with it. Got sidetracked by filming and editing. But yeah, we're, let's make a beat. All right, so for this beat here, we got a BPM of 140. Pretty common timing, pretty common BPM. So I'm gonna mute these tracks. So the this is uh this is the drum track. Nothing too crazy. Um, this song's pretty simple. I had like a little roll of the hats right here. Um, I have the clap on the three, and then I have this snare right here after. And that kind of helps transition into the next kick, the next downbeat. Um, I heard some song on the radio have it the other day, so I thought that'd be kind of cool to put into a song. Um, that little weird noise you hear, yeah, this one, yeah, so this noise here, um, was a sample out of, uh, one of these sample packs over here that I downloaded, um, I kind of use it as my tag. I usually put it in uh, every song that I have. Um, sometimes you can tell, sometimes you can't hear it at all. I blend it in with the mix pretty good, pretty well. Um, yeah, so that, so that's that one. Um, so the so the actual sounds that I've used uh, this kick here is out of. Um, is out of a Murder Beats drum pack. Uh, so is this clap. Uh, the snare and these two hi-hats are from the Kyle Beats Karma Kit. Uh, you can go on kylebeats.com and uh, download all the packs he has on there. This one came with uh, bonus MIDI, a bunch of claps, a bunch of kicks, a uh, bunch of sounds. Uh, Wicked good kit. I love it. I love the hats. Uh, the 808s are pretty damn good too. Um, we'll do another tutorial on 808s. Uh, this song doesn't have any 808s in it. This one, this one, I had an 808 in the beginning, but it, uh, it didn't sound that good. This is the bass that I have. It's not, this isn't an 808. This is just a uh, FL Studio stock plugin called Boo Bass. Um, yeah, I just fucked him around with the, the settings on here. Um, at first it sounded like a, uh, like a real bass, uh, which was cool, but I added a little distortion into it. Um, I have a few effects. So this is what it sounded like to begin with. It sounds good, it sounds pretty cool. Um, by itself, I like it, but not in this mix. So this is with a filter. I have a... I think this is like a distortion. Or, oh, low pass. 
yeah, so this is a low pass filter that I have on. Um, then I EQ'd it. What EQ is this? Alright, so yeah, that's it's super low roll off. So that cuts uh, the low end of the mix. And looks like all of here too. Yeah, because all these are off. So there's that, and then I added reverb into it to kind of give it that airy sound. Um, this is the melody. The key of the song's in A. Um, the notes for this melody are A, E, F, and then I repeat that, and then I hit the uh, octave for the A. That's what you hear right here. This little part, the higher note, was just the octave A. And all together, this is what you get. I don't have really any effects or anything on any of the other Yeah, so I don't have any effects on any of the other stuff, just on that uh, on that bass guitar. Uh, today was a good lesson. I learned a good lesson today. So I started off, I had to go to a networking meeting this morning. So leaving the networking meeting, I got in my car. When I went to shut my car door, I looked down on the ground on the street and I saw a uh, scratch ticket. So I looked, for some reason I looked at it, I picked it up, I scratched it to see if there was like a three letter code. The code said uh, O-N-H or something like that. So I'm like, you know what, that sounds like it could be 100. So I went to 7-Eleven, cashed it in, and motherfucker, I won 100 bucks today for no reason. Very fucking cool. Pretty productive day at work, closed a couple sales, gave a quote to another customer or a potential customer. So basically what I'm getting at is I was stressed out yesterday because I felt overwhelmed. I felt like I looked like a dumbass in the videos, even though I looked like a dumbass the whole time. <laughs> like I am a dumbass. So like, I don't know why I was being so like harsh on myself. Yesterday was just kind of like one of those days that I was like, damn, dude, I'm fucking tired from working all the time and staying up late and then getting up early to go to work and then meeting people, talking to people, blah, blah, blah. But uh, lesson today is keep grinding and keep being positive because uh, good things are always around the corner. And yesterday I didn't want to believe in any of the shit that I was preaching. Um, but today it was like, boom, find a, like essentially I found a hundred dollar bill on the ground. Like that was so cool. Sorry that this video is shaking. I have it, I have my phone connected to a, a holder on my windshield. Um, so that, that's why it gets kind of shaky. But yeah, so fucking keep grinding, keep being positive, keep fucking being a cool tough motherfucker you know good things will happen to you i believe in karma heavily so keep your head down keep grinding stay positive keep positive thoughts inside your dome piece and good things will happen um fucking i killed it today and now i'm gonna go home and finish this video and kill it again